electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium chloride. Here is an electrolytic cell for you. The electrodes are platinum. The anode is connected to the positive terminal and the cathode is connected to the negative terminal. The reaction at the anode is oxidation and the reaction at the cathode is reduction. Now we got to select the ions or reagents that will undergo oxidation and reduction at the respective electrodes. This is how we can do that. The standard reduction potential for sodium ions is minus 2.71 volt and the standard reduction potential value for water is minus 0 0.83 volt. In order to select the ion or the compound that will undergo reduction, we will compare the standard reduction potential values. Minus 0 0.83 volt is greater than minus 2.71 volt. So or the ion with the larger standard reduction potential values will preferentially undergo reduction. So in this case, water has a larger value which is minus 0 0.83 volt, hence it will undergo reduction at the cathode. Now if we compare chloride ions, we are going to use the standard oxidation potential and the value is minus 1.36 volts. In order to obtain the standard oxidation potential, we take the standard reduction potential value and change the sign. The standard oxidation potential for water is minus 1.23 volts. Now let's compare which value is larger. Minus 1.23 volt is greater than minus 1.36 volt. So water should undergo oxidation. But that does not happen here because this is an exception. So instead of water, the chloride ions will undergo oxidation. We will explain the reason behind that in the following slides. Here we will merely look at the reaction that is going to take place at the anode and the cathode. So the reaction at the anode would be two chloride ions will give you chlorine gas plus two electrons. And at the cathode, two moles of water gains two moles of electrons and changes into hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions. So the solution around the cathode will become rich in hydroxide ions and making the solution basic or the pH will go up and it will also produce hydrogen gas at the cathode and the chemical that is produced at the anode is chlorine gas. Next we will calculate the H0 cell or the standard cell potential for this electrolytic cell in the next slide. Anode undergoes oxidation, cathode undergoes reduction. We will write the reaction at the anode and the cathode. Now we will add the two equations, the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction to obtain the net cell reaction. That's going to be 2Cl minus plus 2H2O gives you Cl2 plus H2 plus 2OH minus. That's the net cell reaction that is taking place in this electrolytic cell. Once we are done that, we can also calculate the E0 cell. We will use the equation E0 cell is equals to E0 cathode minus E0 anode. We will substitute the values in it. E0 cell is equals to minus 0 0.83 volt minus 1.36 volt. We have used standard reduction potential values for both the electrodes here. And the net value for the E0 cell is going to be minus 2.19 volt. And we know that any time the E0 cell value is negative, the cell reaction does not take place. So an electrolytic cell is a cell where the reaction is forced to take place by providing external energy. So for that reason, the negative value is perfectly fine here. Next, we will explain why the chloride ions preferentially undergoes oxidation at the anode. It would appear easier to oxidize water than chloride ions because the standard oxidation potential of water is greater than the standard oxidation potential of chloride ions. This solution has a 25% concentration by mass for sodium chloride which significantly decreases the potential required to oxidize the chloride ions. The pH of the cell is also kept very high which decreases the oxidation potential for water. The deciding factor is a phenomenon known as overvoltage which is the extra voltage that must be applied to a reaction 
to get it to occur at a rate at which it would occur in an ideal system. Or rather, because of the overvoltage, this reaction will take place. Added to it, a higher concentration of NaCl and higher pH helps in chloride undergoing oxidation in preference to water. So this electrolysis is an exception. That's it for now.